Hello everyone and thanks for joining School of the American Rifle. wanted to take a moment to share a part failure with you. This past weekend I held a class, it was a two-day course, and uh, when one of the students was using one of our fixtures to tighten down the castle nut to 38 to 42 foot-pounds, the castle nut made a popping noise and then the wrench cut loose and that happened. This thing shattered like glass. It broke at one of the notches right there when it was being tightened. Let's see if I can get a good picture of the grain. There we go. Just shattered. And as you can see, it broke right there at the edge. And he was only at about 30 foot pounds at the time it was uh, it broke. He was using a uh, beam style torque wrench, so we were watching the wrench as he was tightening it, and I saw it as well. Uh, fortunately, nothing got damaged. The buffer tube receiver extension wasn't damaged. The lower didn't get damaged. Nothing but the castle nut um, broke or was damaged in any way. So we put a new one on there, and we were up and running. He thought that maybe this was an aero precision castle nut, but we can't be 100% sure. Uh, even if it was, this is a false fate model. It's not nitride. Um, as I always try to say, this is an example of one, so you can't base everything that a company makes off of one of these videos, but it was an interesting failure, something that I don't see too often unless somebody's going really gorilla on something and not using a torque wrench. Like I said, this thing cut loose at only a little over 30 foot-pounds, so interesting failure. Wanted to share this, uh, this neat little breakage with you guys. And just remember when you're working on something, try to keep some uh, safety glasses on. Try to uh, keep your workspace as uh, safe as possible. So make sure you have a nice, secure workbench, work vice, things like that. So if something does break or cut loose, it isn't going to injure you. So I hope you found this video educational, and thanks for watching.